Hey, what's up all? Another live session with the uh, itinerant slash Dodd slash whatever. B day off. Um, back today off. Trying to get a little uh, terrain done, you know. As Abdul uh, Panza says, or Mark, a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, terrain and a little bit of uh, miniatures. Miniatures? Do you speak English? Not really. So I uh, built these up. Dugouts for these 88s, like I saw in the pictures from the Battle for Song. You just put them in like this. I've shown these before. Dug them out. The first one I dug out with a knife. That took a forever, so I went up and used a Dremel. And they go like that on the ground. Flush. So the other one with the Dremel went much faster. And the cool thing is, it, they even fit this to 88. Pack 40. 88, pack 48 or pack 42. I need to really get that down because I keep stumbling on it. So now it's just time for the undercoat. So it's not going to be a whole very long video. I use this big old pumpkin thing here. And uh, just again, just showing a little bit of terrain. So this is foam, uh, insulation foam that I bought from a, a home uh, do it yourself uh, store that shall go unnamed. Lowe's. And I don't need to use a wet palette because this is just blooping on. And I got another thing here. Do -do -do. And that's very easy. I've, it's so funny. I've done videos like this before. Todd painting hills. Pretty, pretty exciting. Should probably paint the bottoms too, protect them. But uh, maybe I'll do that. You can't um, spray this with aerosol. You can, but it will divot it. The chemical in the accelerant, at least the old one, at least some cans, will um, divot the styrofoam. So if you want that, that's fine. So now that I've made this video, am I, am I as good as, um, I don't even know his name, I'm going to get his book. I better hurry up. There's only two days left in the Terrain Tutor's uh, Kickstarter. So go check it out. The Terrain Tutor. Got a great YouTube channel. 400 million thousand people watch, a lot of people watch, and he's coming out with a book. He seems like a good dude. He just came to Adeptagon in um, Chicago, which is pretty cool. He's from England. So he probably teaches some fine, lovely techniques, and he's probably watching now going, uh, yeah, dude, there's such a quicker, better way to do that. So this is, um, you know, they dug out the ground for a quick, for the battle. I don't think there'd be much grass on this, honestly. Maybe right around the edges just to kind of finish it off, but I don't think, you know, what's interesting to me is this is not going on very thick on the top top of it. I almost wonder if I should have sanded that off. It's going on a little better on the parts that were sanded off. And I need a place to set this, uh, or a glove, or some utensil. How funny is that? I know I can use this, because I'm gonna paint it, so I'm gonna use that. It require a little touching up. It's not gonna be a one one deal, one and done. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in my water here, and I am going to get my sandpaper that I used. I'm not saying I'm the right person to watch for tutorial tips because I have many times people say, oh, you could do it this way. So, but again, I like showing this stuff because I'm, I'm a relative, well, not a noob as far as years. I'm a noob because I just don't do it that often. Painting, to terrain and all that. So I just want to show that, uh, you know, I can do it and you can too kind of deal. Because really, I don't do this much and I don't really do it that great. I do it serviceably, service, serviceably. Oh boy, me again, the English thing. It's just not working out for me today. There's a lot of gump and grime over here. I need a place to put my, oh, you know, a little wire rack. That's an interesting concept. So. So I'm doing this to see if the, how the top accepts the paint in. And you can also kind of blend in your...
Sorry if that's too loud or noisy or something here. It's making it messy for sure. I'll try to do this outside in this unventilated room. I did wear a mask when I used the um, Dremel on it. I did not put glasses on. I mean, I just have my regular glasses on. Oh yeah, it's accepting it better. It just needs to. Okay, time for a new batch. This is a uh, Nutmeg Brown 20521E from Apple Barrel. Cheap craft paint. I said craft, not another word. Okay, there we go. I, here's what I like about painting hills. It's fast. So, now this is where I know I need to, I really can tell why Bob Ross did what he did. Just um, paint the happy dirt, happy mud. Um, feel the, uh, just take your shoes off and ground yourself in the mud of the earth. It's really a good idea. Um, go in there and just go outside and kind of feel, connect with the earth and the bonding of, you know, the, the, and, uh, I'm only partially joking. The, uh, feels so good. In fact, I might do it after painting this up and working with the synthetic materials. Really makes me want to go out there and connect again with uh, Mother Earth, Gaia, as we know her. And there's probably other names. Um, make sure you get all the crevices, cracks and crevices. <laughs> makes me laugh a little bit when I say crevices and cracks. Um, it's because I'm sophomoric. Um, uh, maybe, you know what might have been a good idea? Some uh, latex uh, gloves to protect my hands from the painting. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, but it sounds like someone is home. Probably my son from school. He's a senior. He's going to be going off to school. Which makes me think of this dirt mound and digging a new beginning, you know. Um, beginning new with a big mound of dirt and creating something new to kill and destroy things. Oh, sorry. I got distracted by the nature of the work I'm doing. Look at that. It's beautiful. You can see some blue. I want to make sure you cover all the blue. We'll get the insides, get the insides. But what we'll do is we'll definitely paint the bottoms because um, I'm not like Kippy. Um, I don't like to leave uh, things unfinished. Um, I believe in finishing. But as far as grass is concerned, if you think about it, they dug this out of the ground. It, this is like digging out a huge hole. You're not going to see a lot of grass, maybe some grass on the sides. And really what I want to maybe want to do is put some sand and some uh, textures. I should have maybe put that on beginning. But let's, um, let's see how it looks here. Um, I might do that, actually. I might just uh, go ahead and stick a little bit of, after it dries, put a little sand on there some higher grain sand, and then uh, sprinkle some grass along the sides. And that'll be our dugout, so it'll be great. And now I have paint on my finger, which is also great. Let's see if this other one's dry enough to even apply a little load. Oh, it is. So I'm painting behind the camera, which is, makes for great video. And I'm painting the top and adding a second coat already. It doesn't take long to, to, to dry. If you're really quiet, you can hear my coffee mug with the sealed lid. Um, the, the um, hot water and uh, gaseous fumes um, from the water, hot water, wanting to bubble out, kind of like the earth and the ground that's been dug up here. Okay, well, that's that. Um, you guys have a, guys and gals, have a great day. Two squirts of the apple barrel paint, and it's done, and we'll let it dry, and we'll come back to it another time. Thank you for watching. Everyone have a great day, and remember, Keep painting.